Let's see if we got back. That was strange. I'm not sure what the hell did that. Damn, man, I was in the flow, too. All right. Uh, uh, you didn't miss much. Everyone's still more or less intact. The T I hope you guys saw the T-70 go down like next, and that was a sick shot from the Raketan. Um, this area is much better. I'm really liking the way this plays now. Uh, he got hung up on his own uh, AT gun that got decrewed. Um, he could have just driven forward and around here to get away from it, but lost the T-70 ultimately. Uh, another one just popped, so we're going to see how uh, Creative Name handles himself. Kimbo and Creative were generously played uh, three games here. The first game, uh, Creative just kind of spanked Kimbo, if I remember right. You know, no offense to anybody, but um, it's kind of just what happened. Kimbo doing a hell of a lot better this game. Little squad's trying to be a little bit sneaky there on the right. And, uh, of course, like any... Oh, good mind sweep on the left. Anytime these guys take out of their day to uh, test these maps by not just me, or but anybody is hugely appreciated. Gives us invaluable data. If it's analyzed correctly, of course, there's a lot, there's a lot to that. We're catting on the field. Looking for free shots, and the T-70 is going to connect. This T-70's got to be hugely careful here. It's the first shot. MG-34, suppressing cons. Panzer II even getting some damage. And a whoa, huge second shot from the Raketan. That is two T-70s in a row Creative Name has lost. Creative Name has had better map control, though, so... I, you know, that is a huge blow to him right now, but... Shock's looking for big kills here, too. Forces almost wipes the MG-34. The Panzer II pushes them off. Creative Name is capping up the right side of the map yet again. He still has fuel contact, which he's had pretty much the whole game. He's had double fuels at many points. Kimbo does have his Tier 4. Okay, he's just getting his Tier 4 up now. A lot of action at the front of the base here. Nades going into the mines. AT gun moving in from Creative Name. Getting aggressive here, trying to get this Panzer II off of the field. Love squads uh, behind green cover, looking in like they're in a little bit of trouble with all this uh, shock damage coming in. The AT gun's moving into position, looking for a kill. Gets the kill. Huge shot from long range. It was a max range shot. What a sick shot. That was like perfectly aggressive from Creative Name. This is what I'm talking about, man. I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't think AT guns are weak on this map, and I think light vehicles are good. But there are enough landmine choke points and enough AT uh, traversability where it's, it should be all right. Time may prove me wrong, though. We'll see. Looks like we've got some uh, Valiant Assault stern piles on the left. They should make short work of these conscripts as long as he dodges that nade correctly, which he certainly does. AT gun in the center trying to force off a couple of units. Shocks coming to uh, contest the Sturm Pile's domination. They do decide to retreat. There's two shock squads on the field at this point. All the vehicles have been wiped. The tier four is in an interesting position. Can he cover the VIP from there? Uh, most of the VIP, although anyone who is paying attention can always click that to figure out where its range begins and ends and cap that uncontested okay so creative name just made a move here that guys are gonna start to learn these are not something that you can throw over you've got to pay attention to that you can throw over everything in the map just not these tanks until they're destroyed um but still forces off the mg that's just a learning curve that everyone will get a hold of Grave name, this is a very strange map split right now. They've cut each other off from their primary resources, it looks like. It looks like this is gonna stagnate with Grave name on the left and Kimbo on the right. Storm Tiger, how you doing, buddy? Oh, huge imagery battle kicking off right here. 
Nades going in. A landmine gets hit there. Love Squad's in a little bit of trouble. Shocks just can't get it done at long me or medium range, and the MG34 ultimately forces all of the Allied troops off. But in the meantime, he does cap up the left side. So Creative Name's looking pretty strong here despite losing two T-70s because he got that sick kill on the Panzer II uh, that Kimbo had left idle. Now Panzer IV coming onto the field here. Creative Name does have quite a lot of resources uh, in fuel at least. His Tier Four is cooking. We're going to have to see the uh, Baby AT gun from the Soviets do its work here to try to stall the P4. The shock's in big trouble. There's so much infantry right there. He's body blocking beautifully. Infantry coming out for the Allies to try to support this. Shocks are going to make it home, though. AT gun is firing on the Panzer IV front armor. Asymmetric green cover is aiding creative name uh, handily there, and he does get to push these infantry off. Creative Name also wisely capping up the left side VP, staying outside of the Tier 4's range. Shocks get forced off by an MG34. And Creative Name ultimately stabilizes the front in his favor. That could have been a disaster. But he did a great job there. Cons didn't quite get to finish capping. VPs are in Kimbo's favor at the moment, but not by much. Flames forcing off the Panzer II. That was a sick shot by one of the engineers. Picked off an MG model on retreat. The enemy is reduced to 300 points. As creative name hits the 300 VP mark. He is looking to get a tier 4 unit. The question is what will it be? Is he going to try? Can he even possibly try to save for a Panzer or a KV-2? Uh, probably not. I don't know. Uh, very likely a T-34 will be coming out here from Creative Name. Decides not to cap up that uh, fuel on the right. He is sending out some shocks to try to defend the left, but that is a tough proposition given the unit composition there on the left. Could throw down some smoke possibly to try to cap this VIP, but deciding to give loss to his AT gun instead. Love squads wisely throw down the smoke damage nades. A great Molotov there on the Love squads does force them back a bit. Action all over the map now. Trying to micro this is insanely difficult, let alone cast it. More nades going in on the left and on the right. Cons go down. Love Squad barely makes it out. Love Squads on the left are going into retreat. All the allies are actually kind of taking this area over, but the stern piles are trying to hold. Baby AT gun trying to make sure and check the Panzer Force power on the right. Shocks do make it home, and the cons look like they're going to just maybe barely get that fuel, but it is not um, a foregone conclusion. I think he's saving for KV-2. That could be kind of nuts on this map. KV-2 might be sick as hell. Falls back with the cons. He uh, probably heard or saw or both. The Panzer IV coming through. He's trying to get these cons home alive. He used to retreat immediately. He does get the uh, ideal retreat path there. That was good positioning on his part. Shock's coming in. Going to try to do some damage against stern piles while they're setting up a landmine. Forced off. Panzer IV gets a massive shot off. Two models wiped there. MG-34 holding the right side of the map. Creative name makes engineers. Hmm. Well, it looks to me like he's saving up for the KV-2, which is a uh, happy birthday to me. I'd love to see KV-2 wreck some house on this map. Kimbo not sitting with as much fuel as I thought he might have at this point in the game. A single Panzer IV on the field, although... 6.30... Minute. Creative Name will have a KV-2 in about a minute and a half, and Kimbo will have another Panzer IV in like... Three minutes, so... There will be some power uh, time for that. Does get around this MG-34 that's been causing him headaches with the flanking route. That's beautifully done there. 
Shocks are going to try to push. Shocks and Cons on the center right. Doing work. The AT gun is cloaked. Trying to get some shots off. Does get a good rear shot on the uh, Panzer IV here. The Shocks basically forcing the entirety of the Axis Army off the field. Except some fall squads trying to hold the line here. Getting entirely enveloped. This is a great play by Creative Name. A good name by Kimbo does stall some of these shocks, though. Panzer Force power is checked yet again by this hero baby AT gun. And creative name will very likely at a minimum decap this fuel on the right. Kimbo recapping the fuel on the left. Looks like he's doing better now. Uh, there are some, ooh, cons eat a landmine there. Grabbing the munitions very likely. Engineers uh, saying hello and immediately going home. Oh, if the engineers in the north could, could cap this, this would be a big win for Creative Name. A KV-2 is available now. And a KV-2 has been selected. I would go to it now, but I really want to see the damage put output from this AT gun. Looks like he's going to do a little bit of a fallback here. And the monster that is the KV-2... And he's like, you know what? We really don't need these base hedgerows. Don't need them. We've got MGs up the wazoo. Let's go balls deep into the center. Let's go. First shot. Huge damage on that MG. KV2 reigning supreme on the field right now. Kimbo's got a stall for possibly... Uh, basically another tank of some kind to deal with this. He's not going to get AT guns against the KV2. I wouldn't think. Panzer IV firing back on some engineers. And Khans, triple vet, do get a nice Molotov off. They do have to go home, but these lift squads are taking an enormous amount of damage sitting there. KV2, meanwhile, finds the Panzer IV and fires a huge shot, which does not bend the front armor. Dude, these lift squads are just taking so much damage right now. Shocks get in front of the MG34, but they do manage a smoke nade. And Shocks in the center doing the same. Up against Vet 4 lift squads. That's not going to be pretty. Especially if they have double upgrades, which I'm sure that they do. They don't, actually. Kimbo looking for a retreat nade early. Like, uh, doesn't quite get it. KV2 getting massive damage on the uh, Raketon there. Grave name also capping up the right side of the map. Kimbo opting for an AT gun. All right, he's getting another Raketon against KV2. I guess he's looking for the superior range. To do the work. Creative Name getting back into this game, honestly. He's been doing a hell of a job. Yeah, Kimbo was really putting the pressure on him there for a while. And he still is with VP, so he's got to be careful there. He really wants to get that thing capped up on the right. Wow! Huge attack round from the Panzer IV. Jesus Christ. Shocks ultimately get their objective. KV-2 gets a big pen there on the Panzer IV. Panzer IV looking to get some shots off on the very thick frontal armor of the KV-2. KV-2 pushing forward with some support from flame piles. And Panzer IV ultimately reverses. Oh, no. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is that sticky? Mm, I don't think that's sticky. We'll take a look at that later. I need to take a screenshot of that for data. Good. Okay. KV2, meanwhile, in the center. Oh, no. Shocks on the left side. Looks like they're going to be able to push. If he gets aggressive, he can push his MG off. No, that won't happen. What? Did his smokes recharge that fast? Jesus. All right, uh, Shock should be able to cap up, uh, decap the fuel on the left at a minimum. Nades going out on the center. KV-2 looking good with a lot of support here. Raketon's moving into the center to try to get some shots off on the frontal armor. KV-2 sees them and wisely reverses a bit for reps. Creative Name is turning this around, and Kimbo needs to make a very important tank decision here. He is uh, still... Hanging out there with the uh, Panzer IV in the center double vet. The Rakens are getting shots off. Uh, also, allied AT guns trading shots here. A nade could do huge damage, but the Rakens get out in time. Panzer IV trading shots with the infantry. 
The Allied AT gun really wants to hang on to that triple vet. That's so important at this stage. KV-2 forces off the Luft squads. Engineers going home as well. The left side has been capped up by Kravdin. Everything of consequence except for the VP, which is guarded by an MG-34. The KV-2 trading shots with the Panzer IV. Kimbo might actually be saving for a King Tiger. Dude, this could be so sick. I'm so glad I got a beer for this game. KV-2 gets a huge shot, half healthing the five models of the Volks. Panzer IV moving up, trying to trade shots and just keep the KV-2 honest. Grave name does have the VP bleed in his uh, advantage now. Not the total count, of course, but at least the bleed. Panzer IV has recognized there's a landmine there on the right. He's trying to deal with it. MG-34 in the building, uh, getting a good position here. Panzer IV takes a massive shot from the KV-2. The Panzer IV earlier did remove this landmine here, though. That was a good play. The Raquette and Gangbang team here moving in on the right, looking for some uh, rear armor shots in the KV-2 if possible. Panzer IV doesn't deflect, and the KV-2 gets a huge shot on the front armor of the Panzer IV. Jesus, God in heaven. This KV-2 is not taking any shit. And Creative Name is using it beautifully. Huge Sturm Tiger. <laughs> it's huge. That was a huge shot. I didn't think that shot would kill it. I thought that put it at like 5%. Raketten's getting a couple of side armor shots here. The KV-2s might be looking to wipe the building. Doing massive damage, but the building just barely hanging on. The black hole building, as it were... The teleportation building, as it were, in the north is looking like it, it is on its last legs here. KV-2 at 10 kills, double vet. Shock troops do get a nice flank, but are uh, denied by the location of the tier 4. And a panther is cooking. Interesting. Not a king tiger. Didn't want to wait. That's totally fair. Uh, he wants to finish this and finish the bleed. Uh, T-34, oh, okay, there's T-34 on the field. Yeah, he's got to do something about this. T-34 with a KV-2 in support. Now, keep in mind, all of these... Oh, is that an Axis landmine? No, it's not. All these tanks can be destroyed by medium armor. So something like a uh, SU-76 or a Panzer IV could destroy those tanks. Uh, obviously, a KV-2 will do the trick, but... It's worth noting that they can be removed by medium armor, opening the map up much earlier than most maps. T-34 does force off the Luft squads on the right. A triple vet, baby AT on the right, staying defensive. Now the Panther with sick camouflage moving on the right against the KV-2. Trading shots as the baby AT somehow pens the front armor of the Panther. The Rakentons are nowhere to be seen. Slowly moving up on the right side. The AT guns trying to get into position, but they're being pushed off by these shocks. There's so much going on right now. The left side's being capped up in the meantime. KV-2 gets a huge shot. The tank goes up in flames. Sturm piles are forced off. Panther trying to hold down the fort, but he's taking shots from the T-34. The KV-2 moving to back them up. Firing shots on incoming Luft squads. The shocks taking sh hits in the middle. D crews one of the AT guns. The Panther getting damage at long range. MG34 setting up. KV2 wildly misses a shot on the right side. Huge damage being done. The factory goes down. Panther moving up to get some more hits. The baby AT gun trade shots. The KV2 getting a, a ridiculous max range shot on the Panther, who is basically on its last legs. This is an insane engagement. As the KV-2 continues to do massive damage on the front line here. The Rakettans just can't seem to get into position as the Khans force off the rest of their infantry. Wow, dude, what a crazy engagement. This has been so sick. Keep in mind these areas right here still maintain line of sight blocking. Line of sight blocking. And impasse blocking. Creative name has managed to grab all the VPs except the one on the right. He's a little bit busy. Oh! Icing machine gun squads. 
creative name will gladly pick up an MG34 and move on. Axis forces have decided to shift left. The Panther did survive that crazy engagement on the right. Nearly Vet 1 getting reps in Kimbo's next tank choice will be absolutely critical. This might sound stupid, but honestly, a Jag Panzer IV might be a fair choice here. Uh, he could go for another Panzer IV because of all the infantry that he's having, having to deal with. And a Panzer IV can take on a T-34 pretty straightforwardly. Ooh, or Kettens. Oh, come on, guys. Get into position. Good AT, the good uh, mines off, uh, nades off there from the lift squads. Huge shots there from the Rakens. Will they get a second round? One curves around the building and lands, and that T-34 got very lucky. Shocks do make it home here. Looks like Cons are trying to hold down the left side and maintain the resource advantage that Creative Name has made for himself. Another AT gun coming out from Creative Name. Doesn't have as much fuel as he might like. The Panther, more or less at max health. He would get snared if he gets hit by an AT nade, though. That's got to be remembered. He didn't take the time to fully repair that unit. Maybe AT gun continuing to do damage as the next big encounter happens. They've shifted from the right to the left. As smaller engagements are pulling units into this side of the map. Baby AT gun looking like it might be in a little bit of trouble. The KV-2 gets a sick shot around the building. Kimbo just leaving his unit out to dry as a nade goes off. Almost destroying the baby AT gun. The Luft squads do end up making it home. Stern piles in the center holding off the shock troops. The left side there's longer range engagements happening there. Panther has... A machine gun 42 upgrade on the cupola here. The Rakettens are not quite ready to deal with this KV-2. The Panzer, or the Panther, Panzer 5 does have to move out. Rakettens are going to get some six shots in here, though. They pen, Panther pens, and then no pen there. T-34 destroys a massive tank explosion, goes off. Panther goes down from the baby AT gun. Will the Rakettens trade? Boom! There goes the KV-2. Massive Damage done there from the Rakettens as all the tanks go up in flames. What a sick, sick game we're watching here. I think this map is working properly. That was sarcasm. This has been so sick. T-34 getting big damage in on the Volks Grenadiers. Vet 5, are they going to make it home? Jesus Christ, just barely. Creative name didn't manage to cap up the entire right side of the map. Only has one fuel at the moment. Uh, Seven-man cons moving on to the left. Center is about to pop off yet again. T-34 facing off against a fresh Panzer IV from the motherland. Or fatherland, rather. Whoever the hell it is. AT... Uh, Gun has to fall back from a nade being thrown. Lift squads can't quite get shots out because of the smoke being generated in the center. And cons are forced home by tier 4. As the front kind of stabilizes here. Wow. Just madness. Madness, madness engagements. Creative name has a slight advantage here. Um... In unit composition, but not in VPs. It is incumbent on Creative Name to kind of maintain what he has at this point. That'll be a nice little pickup from Kimbo with an MG34 on the far left. Shocks will probably smoke it and force that MG off. Although both players have a ton of micro left over because they're not doing other things, so he could fall that MG back. Yeah. Just to give you guys a sense of what's going on. Shot blocker here. Shot blocker. Well, line of sight blockers, right? Still line of sight blockers, even though they get destroyed there. Yeah, the shock should be able to take care of this MG. They'll get another smoke nade off. Oh my god. Anarchy in the center. Panzer IV took an 18 nade, it looks like. Falls get off a great nade in the center. Flash. 
Oh, hey, LT, I'm streaming right now. How you doing, buddy? Do you want to stop doing what you're doing? No. This, this game I'm streaming right now is off the fucking chain. You have, you have like, one follower. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Shocks take the left side. And actually, Creative Name is maintaining all of the resources on the map right now. Kimbo's on the back foot. The T-34 needs a lot of reps, though. Oh, you're testing your map. These are replays from two of the best. Uh, Kimbo's, like, one of the f maybe top 10. Creative Name's, like, top 20 uh, 1v1ers. And this game is fucking insanity so far. Okay, so you are cast. How much longer are you casting for? Uh, I have another game to cast, and then I'll be done. What are you guys thinking? We're going to play Co, but... You're not invited now. Okay. Yeah, fuck you. Mm. Wait, Matt. <laughs> if you don't like big red, then fuck you. We don't you take don't kindly to red. beautiful women around here. <laughs> Tier 4 doing great damage to the shocks on the left side. T-34 can't quite do what he needs to against these falls as the Vips are pointing in Kimbo's favor right now. AT guns are pointed right where the Panzer 4 is coming in. Panzer 4 is going to take some hits. Wants to finish off the T-34, but can't quite get the shots. This is a line of sight and impasse blocker, but it can be fired through, similar to hedgerows. You can just see, like, the amount of carnage that has befallen the map here. T-34 getting a little too aggressive, I'd say. Uh, he's lucky that this. Well, that's a well-placed Ziska, to be fair. But a Raketan comes out of nowhere, finishes off the T-34 from long range. What a sick move there from Kimbo. Grave name holding the line though. Another KV2 is on the field. Jesus, God in heaven, this is about to get crazy. Stolen MG34 holding. Looks like MG34 is on both sides, suppressing each other here. KV2 looking to break the gridlock. Fires as wild shot and misses. This Panzer IV is the saving grace of Kimbo's army right now as he's trying to find a way to get repaired. Look like some remaining engagements on the right side here. Sternpile's trying to outflank the rest of these units at a minimum wipe the Ziss. He does get the wipe. And the KV-2 misses. He gets the well-designed and, yes, that is very intentional retreat path home around the large building. Shock's going to cap up the left. Creative name really taking advantage of the fact that there's just not enough range on this tier four if this tier four was moved just a just a scooch more forward i think that would have been a lot more of a burden uh to try to cap that vp creative name doing a good job keeping the pressure on moving up at guns to try to cap as much as possible kv2 just kind of roaming around doing whatever he wants kimbo has got to consider another tank uh, but what kind, I don't know. He does have a lot of time on his hands. Even at, 100, even at a triple cap right now, 183 VIPs is plenty to sort of sit back and, and analyze what he needs to do. And it won't be a triple cap very long. Raketten keeping the KV-2 honest right now. KV-2 has to fall back a scooch. Looks like we're getting some uh, booby traps going up on some points now. Wolf Squad's moving far right. Uh, creative Name does see this and is moving Khans into position to try to deal with them at long range. Seven Man Khan should be able to deal with these brand new Wolf Squads. They're really, really hoping to get a wipe on that AT gun. You can tell because he just popped Valiant Assault here. Not going to get it though. And these guys might actually go down on retreat. And they do. That is kind of a, kind of a big loss there at this point in the game. They weren't vetted or anything, but still... KV2 gets a big shot, uh, misses, and Kimbo wisely retreats. Kimbo deciding to devote his resources to the left side of the map. MG34 in position will suppress the shock troops who throw a smoke grenade in response. KV2 shifting to the left side of the map to try to break the gridlock. Just about every hedge row on the map has been destroyed at this point. Seven-man cons in the center. 
Huge shot, and the booby trap goes off at the same time. We're catting firing a shot in on the KV-2. Both squads doing some damage here. The baby AT gun's still alive with only two kills and God knows how much efficiency. We're catting in a great spot, got damage done on the KV-2. KV-2 about to fire a big shot. Huge damage to the Volksgrens. Volksgrens uh, gonna have to be a little bit careful here in the center with Falls flanking around this MG. Firing, going in on the uh, Panzer IV with the Rakettens in response. Baby AT gun might get the kill, and it does with the cons in on the assist. Kimbo also getting some retribution by destroying an MG-34, but probably not the best trade. KV-2 getting a little bit brave here. Fires a shot in and doing ha more than half health damage on the Rakettan. Rakettan getting a ton of penetration done on the KV-2. He's got to be a little bit careful here. A lot of creative name infantry coming into the center. These Rakettans just don't have... Well, maybe they do have enough support. I might have spoke too soon. Barrage coming in from the KV-2. Wipes one Rakettan. MG-34 doing just enough damage in the center to hold these infantry off. The VPs have stalemated. Kimbo's got to pick a tank. Is he going to go for another Panther? Maybe? I don't know. This is a really close game. This is a, such a sick game. Uh, I don't know. Uh... Vet 5 love squads coming in. Should be... Oh, boy. Yep. That is a dead... Dead, dead shock. I'm assuming he has upgrades. No, he doesn't still. Wow. KV-2 misses a shot there. Raketten also misses one in turn. Fair enough. An abandoned MG-34 uh, just kind of chilling. He does need the reps. A Panther has been the tank of choice for Kimbo to try to win this game, to pull this out from the depths of defeat here. This double vet Raketten cannot go down. He really needs this vehicle or this team weapon here. Just barely saves it, but a T-34 moving in with hellish speed. Trying to retake the center VP. Something died there. I actually kind of missed that. I think that was a Luft squad. Yeah, it was a Luft squad. Went down to a crazy KV-2 shot. It's continuing to use the barrage ability on the KV-2. And a Volt goes down. Kimbo has lost a bunch of units to the KV-2. It looks like the KV-2 choice is going to win him the game. Sturmpiles do wipe and eat the baby AT finally on the far right, but I don't think that's going to be enough. This game going to 48 minutes. The Zis gun doing terrible damage. He really doesn't have a choice. He's got to charge ahead with the Panther. He's moving in to try to remove the T-34 from the game. Gets a kill on the T-34. That's a big win, but he's got to do more. KV-2 looking for uh, additional damage here, bombarding the infantry. Kimbo drops smoke, but he's decided not to use it. He's trying to finish off this KV-2. Can't pen the front armor, which is the front armor, even though it didn't hit. Uh, I mean, that might have hit rear. Or Ketten from max range comes out of nowhere. Gets a huge shot, kills, and creative name taps. Oh, oh he's at 18 vips. Wow. And Kimbo pulls this one out of the hat, dude. That was so sick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, White Flash, do we need to tweak the map anymore? Hey, I don't think so. I don't think so? Maybe? Am I missing something? I don't think so. That was fucking nuts. There were so many good names, good maneuvers just now. Jesus Christ. Uh... All right, well, don't go anywhere, guys, because we are going to go to the next game. Yeah, there is another one. Woo! Uh, they gave me one more game, and I am going to cast it. 
Jesus Christ, dude, the KV-2 play was so sick. AT guns were doing just fine, too, by the way. Like, some of the feed... I'm getting some feedback where it's like, uh, maybe light vehicles are too strong. You know, maybe they're too weak. Uh, maybe team weapons are too strong or too weak. Damn, dude, that was crazy. Uh, but all in all, I'd say... Light vehicles have to deal with the tightness in some areas, which give mines more leverage. And team weapons can be flanked clearly by a whole bunch of different avenues. Um, didn't see any already that game, but when you've got a KV-2, you really don't need it, do you? I really wanted to play co with my buddies, too. Damn it. Well, I got Crosney. Not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the third game, we didn't see the first game. Um, I already watched it, so I didn't want to cast it. Uh, but game three here on Playesti Outskirts. Named for the oil fields that are further in the distance. In the north, as OKW is creative name who put up. I thought he had that game, honestly. A hell of a fight in game two in the north. And Kimbo coming in as Soviets in the south. Creative name immediately selecting Grand Offensive. Not, not a huge surprise. This has been sort of meta-ish for a long time now. Um, you know, it's got stuff. Who knows? Kimbo. Maybe a little bit of a troll pick here. Immediately picks Urban Defense. Let's see what happens. We've got a kind of an interesting capping order here from Kimbo. He's decided to come center with some units and cap the right. As creative name basically commits to the left. His third unit, Panzer Fusiliers, coming center. And Penals. Okay, Penal Tier 1 build. Yeah, with the clown car. Fair enough. Penal build coming out here from Kimbo. He's going to try to extol the light vehicle power uh, that I've been hearing so much about. Uh, the last game, two T-70s and a Panzer II went down. Not super quickly, but no one got past Vet 2, so... Um, yeah, no, we'll see what happens here. With a very, very early Cheese Clown Car build. Oh, sick play there by Creative Name. Using this building to perfection. Mwah, jumps in it. As soon as the Penals try to use the green cover and the Penals are getting torn up. Kimbo not able to use the light car very early in game because the penals are not available gonna have to do with his own gun here that gun does a decent amount of damage though to be fair and no fouls are available because you have to wait to get tears up from ok dub and meanwhile on the opposite side of the map here panzer fusiliers fighting off some engineers will likely win considering there are no other units in support piles or engineers forcing out Panzer Fusiliers of the building. They pop back into the building and back out through the door. Going to challenge the engineers head on, which is very likely the right move, especially with stern piles in tow. Engineers forced home. Getting body blocked here. Penal's trying to support. They run back through the house. A bunch of sick building play with this unique uh, hedgerow building triple exit design here. Looks like the light vehicle moving... To support the penals, fair enough. Penals using some new green cover here in the south. Stern pile is taking damage. Gotta be a little bit careful, getting greedy. In the north, the engineers haven't entirely abandoned this area. Panzer Fusiliers looks like Creative Name trying to decide how to use them. More penals popping here from Kimbo. 
as creative name forces the issue at long range. Panther Fusiliers will eventually force home the engineers here. Flamethrowers pop from Kimbo. Okay, no surprises there. He's going to go ham here with a light car. Creative name about to deal with this intrusion. Kimbo grabs the big building in a defensive stance here up against all these infantry. Deciding to send the flame car north as the fresh penals force away the fusiliers. Kimbo being a little indecisive with this car right now. Okay, decides to turn back. Creative name falling back with everything, sensing the danger here. Flak truck in queue for him. Penal's moving up to immediately grab the cutoff. Okay, this is a great play. He could come back here and grab this cutoff and this cutoff. Instead, Kimbo's grabbing the center VP, Keystone, and this cutoff, which actually cuts off all of this instead of just these two points. Excellent move there from Kimbo. And he's even taking the far cutoff, which will cut off the entirety of the map except the two connecting points. This is outstanding high-level play from Kimbo after forcing Creative Name off the map. But Creative Name is returning with basically all of his units at 100% health. And a flak truck soon, which is going to force Kimbo to go home at the same time. Flak truck getting aggressive here. MG40 or uh, MP44 upgraded Volks here. Moving quickly, he teleports through the building. Gonna get a foul stop. That was a sick move through the building. This is the kind of building play I love to see. He knew this was coming around. He's way over here. Pops in, pops out, Faust, and then pops back. Sick, sick play. Looks like in the meantime, an eight um, landmine was connected with on the flat half track. Keep in mind, Kimbo has a little bit of line of sight through here. Not much, but he's basically using this as a a check building for when units come out. He can decide how to maneuver. He can move over behind them uh, or in front of them or just hold the building. Fusiliers trying to prevent this decap but will not succeed. Penals immediately see a target and a jump on them. Fusiliers uh, doing their best here on the far right, but without G43, he's probably not going to do that well. Flak truck, back to full health. Fusiliers forced off. As the flak truck getting huge damage off on the car on the right. There's an allied landmine right here. Fusiliers get an AT nade off, and down the vehicle goes. Kimbo has opted for shocks at this point. Oh no, Penal's caught in the open. Iced with the first shot from the flak truck. Great shots there from the flak truck. And Kimbo's lost two pretty darn important units early on here. Baby AT gun uh, falling back with zero support. Flak truck raining down hate and discontent. Shock's coming into support here. Penal's also fighting, but they're in a bad spot here. Uh, the Baby AT gun is going to force off that flak truck in very good timing indeed because that saved. Uh, maybe saved? Yep, did save these uh, Penal Battalion. A lot of German infantry coming in. The shocks cannot hold back all of these forces. Occupies it in order to destroy that. Okay, that was an expensive move, but a sick move. Shocks actually move in, occupy the AT gun, and destroy the flak truck. That was a sick play by Kimbo. It was a ballsy one, but it did work out for him. Some engineers trying to uh, maintain their own base perimeter here, ultimately falling back. But Kimbo maintaining fuel control during all that, and he got beat up pretty good, so that's actually uh, not a great trade for him, but that's a stable enough trade. He is burning through manpower faster than a 
twice divorced man at a strip club here, but he he's got to get control of his manpower bleed. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to tear up, and these vehicles are going to end up destroying him here. Penals will comfortably force off. Ooh, oh, he might get a wipe here. This would be big. I didn't even see that landmine. And he does. Okay, that's a great pick up there. Penals, excellently placed mine. Does the damage on the penal battalion and... Or on the Panzer Fusiliers and Penal Battalion does the trick to finish him. Kimbo looking to get some wipes here. Behind the line is Creative Name Wisely Retreats. Creative posting up on his green cover. And Creative opts for another flak truck. Uh, the Baby AT gun is at full health, but not, not anywhere near this flak truck. Flak truck has been spotted at this point. Kimbo needs to be a little bit more careful. Penal's charging hard on the left side here. Another Kimbo mine here behind the green cover as the flag truck forces off the supporting infantry in the center. Dodges the landmine there, but Creative Main might lose another Panzer Fusilier. He gets out. Action all over the map. I do apologize. There's a lot going on here. Uh, even at 10 minutes, there's a lot going on all across the map. Flak truck is, uh, doing huge damage. Might wipe these penals. Jesus, penals forced home. Shocks with flamers in support. Do force off Panzer Fusiliers and Kimbo. is going to be able to maintain the right side of the map with a cutoff at a minimum. Creative name has moved in and capped up the left side with no minesweepers, though. There's still some mines lurking around. He's going to be a little bit careful with this flak truck. Black truck doing good damage here to the flamers, trying to get a decap on the VIP in the center. They will get the decap. Uh, he's trying to target down those engineers, but he's going to take a lot of shots having the health of the flak truck in the center. Good work there by the baby AT gun. Kimbo replaces a mine in his own crater. Fair enough, as fresh shocks come onto the field. Moving left. And we see Creative Name with an absurdly aggressive uh, tier vehicle here. This is like just out of control aggressive to the point where it's like dangerous. If you're anywhere in front of this hedgerow, I feel like you're you're being like far too ballsy. All right, and there's it goes. <laughs> there goes tier four. Let's see how that, let's see how that works out for him. Oh, he's trying to lure those Panzer Fusiliers into a landmine here. Shock's moving in on Panzer Fusiliers. A great nade goes in there from Creative Name. Good dodge from Kimbo, though. Uh, Panzer Fusiliers do force off the engineers here. More action on the left. I can't keep track of all this. Dude, these signs are so good. Panzer Fusiliers looking like they're going to get wiped on the right, though. Creative Name does lose a unit. Running into the mine there on the right side. Left side, Kimbo does push him off of the resources, but the flak truck's back in action. Dude, the fact that we're seeing this much action spread across the map this often is just 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Couldn't be more pleased. AT gun tries to get a shot off on the flak truck. Doesn't quite do it. Remember, the tier 4 does not have the upgrade yet, and he's waiting on two more fuel to be able to achieve this goal. Instead, opting for Obers. Not sure about that choice. These guys have been wiping each other's units so much. They're, they're taking advantage of the different routes. I mean, this has been so sick. Flak truck getting in a position to support his Panzer Fusiliers. Does indeed. AT gun getting around the barrels in the center. Gets a great shot off, but not quite wiping. It's going to have to fall back. Obers have popped. I'm assuming we're going to see Tier 4 upgrade here very quickly. Indeed it is. There goes the Tier 4 Panzer Authorization. Ober's going to try to hold down their Tier 4. Baby AT gun in the center. Uh, kind of soloing everything there. Tier 4 is about to pop and put the sh shocks out of commission here. Okay, this is a very important moment. Kimbo knows there's a t Tier 4 ex very exposed on the left. He can try to go destroy it. Or he can take over the rest of the map.
Let's see what he decides. Kimbo's getting tier three. Okay. He, now he could get SU-76s and just ice that tier four from range. He has the fuel. He's been bleeding manpower like we were saying earlier. He's got to decide what he wants to do here. While the pipes are up. Ooh, huge damage from that. Flag truck. Good counter shots in, though. Two good ones. Bulk's forcing him off. See, this tier 4 can hit this, but not entirely. The pipes are going to block. Even when the pipes are gone, though, I think you could cap up down here a little bit. Great landmine, defensive mine there from Kimbo. Penal should be able to push off these Volkscrans, but will they be able to wipe the vet from this AT gun? No, they won't. AT gun falls back home, and Kimbo is opting to take the right side of the map. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a T-76 or SU-76 here. Honestly, T-70 is like kind of the standard go-to, but an SU-76 right now would be legit if he ever got manpower, that is, of course. Creative name sitting on his tier 4. Doesn't have the resources to do much else. He's in a similar manpower situation, of course. Good smoke there from the shocks, but... Yeah, I was going to say, scooch behind that tank a little bit. You'll be all right. Does get the cutoff cap. Just really would like to get that fuel. I mean, he's got everything else he needs, but... Kimbo maintaining VIPs. The VIP bleed hasn't been terrible thus far. Shock should make short work of those penals as the engineers in the center have got to go home with the entirety of the Axis army coming down the center. Shocks do push off the uh, stern piles on the left. Okay, these shocks got a little aggressive here. He knew all these infantry were coming in. He's probably not going too many things at once, but they are going to make it home. Got the fuel on the right. Kimbo's got enough resources to do kind of whatever he wants right now. He can build a tank. He could do a tier 4. He could back tech if that made sense, which it doesn't. Very strong Axis infantry here facing off against penals and flame engineers that probably won't go well for them. Shocks do reconnect their muni point. Panzer Fusilier's getting thrown beautiful nade over the pipes, but it totally misses. That was an excellent play despite the miss. Oh, look at this. Kimbo. Eking out just enough to get around that to be able to cap. Outstanding move. Forces off the Obers. I'm very impressed Kimbo managed to win that engagement there. He's actually going to push all the Axis infantry off the right. Wow. Uh, the flag truck is going to shut down this little uh, cheeky move here. Probably lose a couple more models here. At least one. Uh, maybe more than that. Uh oh, the Volks are in position too. Okay, double vet shocks make it home. Creative name opting for a second Raketon. Totally fair. Kimbo has opted for tier 4 and a T-34. Okay. With that excellent engagement on the right, he is going to be able to cap all of that up. Shocks in the center. Going to pop a smoke nade, of course. Finish capping that up. Got to get more bleed in on creative name here. There's a lot of work to be done. More landmines wisely going down here from creative name. Sensing enemy armor coming in. Oh, wait. Kimbo canceled that tank. What in the world? Baby AT gun getting great damage in on that flak truck. Can the shocks push off Obers upgraded here? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he sure can. Comfortably even. Trip vet. Flag truck does respond. The AT gun getting in position again. A nade going in. Big damage in on that gun. He's going to try to wipe the vet off of it. Oh, just barely squirts around the side there. Shocks in trouble with suppressed. Do have to retreat. Creative name wisely coming over here, grabbing a great cutoff there. 
Kravenim also reasserting himself on the left side. He does wipe the vet off that. Okay, that's big. Off the baby AT gun. Now these P fuselers gotta go home. This is an outstanding cutoff here. And decapping muni is always important. Front's kind of stabilized here. Creative name looking like he's in a great position. I don't know what Kimbo's waiting for. I thought a T-34 was a perfectly reasonable choice, but he's saving for don't tell me a KV-2. If he's just trolling, which I think he is at this point. Right, that's all he's doing. Shock's got huge damage off on the P-Fuselers there. He might get a wipe here. He's totally getting a wipe. Yep. Big wipe. That was big from Kimbo. Creative name responding, though, destroying this AT gun on the, in the right. Uh, the biggest throw of a nade I've ever seen and the most damage I've ever seen from a... Jesus Christ. Shock's might get yet another wipe here. He does at long range. Wow. He shocks. Animals. Uh, lucky for him, too, because Kimbo's down to five units. Tier 4 are not interested in their bullshit. Responds. Shocks wisely throw smoke. Uh, Kimbo knows that the Tier 4 can't do attack ground. More smoke coming in, although that is not the case for the flag trick on the right. Yeah, Kimbo's totally saving for KV-2. KV-2 meta. I'm alright with that. Shocks get just around this corner here so the tier 4 can't touch him. D caps the fuel. Creative name is going to assert himself on the right and maintain it basically in its entirety while well, a another baby AT gun enters the field. This is a fresh one. The other one got destroyed. And what is this? A tiger tank from Creative Name. I don't think Kimbo's going to be able to wait for what he wants. Yeah, the flag truck's not going to allow him to walk in here. As long as it doesn't die, of course. Falling back from the baby AT gun. Penal is doing a good job trying to maintain their position here, but the Tiger is going to ruin everything. It is going to hurt. Nope, never mind. Tiger wildly, wildly misses. Kimbo needs to, okay, immediately build a tank. Immediately build a tank. Kimbo, you have the resources. You can't wait for KV-2 anymore. You have to get a tank. What tank are you going to get? Nope, none of the things you're doing is going to stop this thing. Another baby AT gun is not going to stop this thing. God damn it. Gee, what a terrible idea. Alright, Kimbo has opted to lose. Kimbo has selected I shall die now, he says. Because baby AT guns aren't going to do dick against that tiger. Uh, and the flag trucks not will not be moved from the right so you're just dead well Kimbo uh, trying to keep his base alive with the worst AT gun in the game Against one of the best tanks in the game. Very likely not going to happen. Kimbo is trying to recap the left at a minimum. Grave name, meanwhile, capping out basically the entirety of the map. Kimbo might get a wipe here on the P-Fuselers, but not with the smoke in the way. Kimbo does lose yet another unit here on the left side. As he's trying to micro a baby AT against a Tiger and cap up the left against a flat, two flak trucks. Effectively. Tiger has decided the baby AT gun's not worth it. And wiping infantry that are at vet is more valuable. 
Moving in on the left here. Shocks go down. Triple vet. Tiger has cornered what's left of Kimbo's forces here. Baby AT gun by himself trying to penetrate the very thick relative to its caliber armor. I mean, you had to get a tank, bro. And not now. It's too late now. SU-85 ain't gonna cut it now. Oh! Shocks go down like Nixon. Baby AT trying to get some boosted damage here from the cloak position. Tiger wiping models, but ultimately the Baby AT gun could force him off because he does have Vet. And he does have the reinforcement here. Okay, fair enough. I'm actually surprised how much it's penetrating. Yeah, Kimbo sees the writing on the wall. Vet 5 flak truck now. Sitting on 40 kills. SU-85 gonna get snared immediately. There's the snare. And the second that tiger gets health. It'll very likely get supported by another tank, and Kimbo will die horrible, horrible deaths. Dude, how about that game two, though? Holy shit, that game two was just so sick. Okay, picks off the uh, flag truck, not that it matters. SU 85 basically at the end of its life cycle here. Asymmetric green cover for the defender here. Going to come to Kimbo's aid. Females should force off those Volks. But it definitely won't force off this Tiger. Kimbo's AT going to do their best here against the Tiger. Tiger getting big damage off on the SU-85. SU-85 can't even pen the front armor. SU-85 goes down hard. And Kimbo taps out on game two. Still a solid game. Um, bit of a throw there by Kimbo, but... Dude, that game two. Holy shit, that game two is so sick. Guys, before I go, I'm going to hype the... Uh, the Master League wildcard game here. Uh, it's going to be hosted right here. Um, on this Twitch channel. Uh, Sturm Tiger and myself are going to be running this like the mob. If you want to see the information on the tournament, go here. Um, check it out. You know, live the dream. Enjoy yourself. And support the Master League here at the Patreon. Um, a lot of people busting ass to make the competitive scene for Co. look good. And play good and be enjoyable. So, uh, you know the drill. I'm going to throw you guys at Bowling for the rest of the night. I appreciate you guys watching. Follow, sub, you know the drill for all that good stuff. Um, and we will catch you all later. Hope you enjoyed the cast, guys. Good night.